good morning good evening good afternoon and good night whenever you're watching the video welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i will talk about whether the fortnite chapter 2 is good for playing a non-graphic card pc basically this video is for the especially for the intel uh, hd graphic cards people i will put the, the link in the description about a different processor which support intel hd graphics the text 11 or 12 these are the processor who support 11 so if you are using an intel hd graphics 2000 2000 your pc cannot play fortnite sorry because in the last season the fortnite just said that only the graphic are supporting direct text 11 or 12 will be able to play so this video is only for intel people so the answer for the question is whether you can play Fortnite chapter 2 without any graphic card is if you want to play a competitive play then leave this video you cannot play a competitive play with the Intel HD graphics it sucks believe me but if you want to play a casual game with your friends and have some fun then you can do it and one thing you can do is if your computer supports multi-thread coding so here will be a uh, option for allow multi-thread if your PC has more than 4 cores, 6, 8, whatever. In my PC, I have 12 cores, so it doesn't support multi thread decoding. So, for me, it's showing the option of allow dynamic resolution. So, dynamic resolution basically allow me to see much better resolution than uh, turning it off. But the problem is that I am fixed at 30 FPS. I cannot increase my FPS because of this resolution. If I increase my FPS and turn this off, then this is how my game looks. But the FPS gets boosted. But if I open this, then I have to reduce my FPS to 60 FPS, 30 FPS. See, it will automatically reduce to 30 FPS. Huh? So that's the problem with the allowed dynamic resolution. For increasing the FPS boost, maybe you have seen some videos uh, like going to local app data and doing some changes. So allow dynamic resolution to do the same thing and we don't need to go there. But one thing you can do in that uh, local uh, app data changes is you can change that gamma exposure from 2.2 to 1. It actually helped me in playing my game. One thing is that. Second thing is in recordings just turn off this record replays off for all the things it will help increase your fps one another thing is turn off the epic launcher launcher as you can see it is taking more than 100 mb uh, mb of my ram so if i close this i will get a little bit of fps boost. but the problem here is this gpu this CPU that's the problem not a CPU this is the thing if I play a game of team rumble and this is what happen if I close all of them allow it dynamic resolution and increase my FPS 30 and 3d resolution to 75 percent way big So this is what games look like I am, nah, I am not using a lot of dynamic resolution I'm getting around 30 fps this is the fps gate i'm getting without a now dynamic resolution but as you can see i cannot see properly the long distance but when i turn this on as you can see i can see much far with constant 30 fps around 
so it allow me to see that person properly without this person look like this and with he look like this so allow dynamic resolution allow me to see very far distance that's the thing beauty of allow dynamic resolution you can see the mountain properly also okay guys thank you for watching if in future i am able to find a way to further increase the fps or some way we can increase the fps for our intel hd graphics i will post a new video about that and like share and subscribe please thank you for watching and bye